the more pins people knocked down, the more money would be donated for bobolinks. So the children were having a practice game before the tournament to get better at knocking down pins. You see, now you can practice with something that doesn't squish or squirt. Oh, good, you're here. We have to cancel the tournament. Cancel the tournament? We have an emergency. Normally, I rack the children's bowling balls and Mr. Berg polishes the shoes. But Mrs. Berg's back has been acting up, so we switched. And now Mr. Berg's fingers are stuck. Ah. I have to drive him to the doctor's. On account of I can't steer with bowling ball hands. Ow! <coughs> there will be no one to hand out shoes or work the concession stand. We can do it. <laughs> We keep all the shoes over here. Oh, let's get you to the doctor before you do any more damage. Don't worry. We'll have things back to normal in no time. The shoe with the number in green was the smallest. Green numbers must be for children. The shoe with the red number was a little bigger. Hmm. Red numbers must be for ladies. Uh -huh. The shoes with blue numbers were the biggest of all. Uh -huh. Blue numbers must be for men. When you match the numbers and the colors, you got two shoes that were the exact same size. Colors mean they're different kinds of shoes. <laughs> How'd you ever figure that out? You're pretty smart for a city kid. <laughs> My right shoe is too small and it won't let me walk straight. <laughs> Jimmy already has two shoes with the same color number. So what's wrong with his right shoe? George couldn't figure out what was wrong. The shoes were exactly alike. Could that be the problem? <laughs> Jimmy was wearing two left shoes. I've got two left shoes? How did I not notice that? <laughs> <laughs> George had finally sorted the shoes perfectly. Yes! Ready, George? <laughs> he even found the right size for himself. points. The fundraiser was a huge success. And the Bobolinks got their nesting ground. 